Less than 30 minutes, the public will get the opportunity to see the remaining concepts for the future of Raleigh Durham International Airport. It's part of RDU's 25 year plan required by the FAA. CBS North Carolina's Lauren Havlin found out there's still a lot of unknowns when it comes to what travelers can expect. I think I had a pretty good first experience with RDU. While Patrice Sanders isn't a frequent flyer, she says from the parking to security and takeoff went smoothly. I didn't have a long way. I got my badge checked. People were there to help me. RDU officials wanted to stay that way as they plan for the future. We will have some significant development needs over the next 25 years. We are a growing region. Uh, we're expected to grow about 2% every year. RDU has hired consultants to put together multiple concepts. They've been narrowed down to nine, and officials say they're very different, but aren't being shared until tonight. Possible potential changes to the airfield, possible potential changes to terminals, uh, to parking, to cargo, to general aviation, to all of these structures. One expected addition, 23 more gates by 2040, which means more traffic in the air and on the ground. They may want to get more parking because I know that a lot of people take advantage of it. These are the types of things RDU and its consultants want to hear. They're holding a public meeting tonight in Raleigh and tomorrow in Durham. We can't grow without the community's support and we can't grow without the community's involvement. And so we are committed to taking these meetings out into the community to be a good neighbor and to listen. The concepts will be narrowed down to one by this fall and presented to the FAA. At RDU, Lauren Havland, CBS North Carolina. Tonight's meeting lasts until 8 o'clock. We have more information on both meetings and the concepts right now on our website, WNCN.com.